What's up guys? Welcome back to another banger of a fishing video. Today we're going to talk about how to find fishing spots or fishing holes on the Bow River specifically, but these tactics can be used for any river or any water body as well. So we're doing this video a little differently. Today we're in my house because I'm going to show you a tactic on how to find spots before you even go out to the river. So this is research you're going to do before you head out. And so what you're going to do is pull out that computer and we're going to get into the tactics. <music> I know there's a big channel right here so when the water's low you're able to stand on this little island and fish this big deep channel there's a bunch of fish holding and closer to the top where it goes shallow to deep is where the hungry fish are so before I get into these tactic guys if you could please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already this pushes my stuff to more people and hopefully I'm bringing enough value to you guys that I can continue to share it for more and more people alright so this tactic isn't new there's people doing it and I'm sure a lot of people uh, already know to do this but this video is more targeted at the beginners trying to find those fishing spots so before I even head out I do some research on where I'm fishing and the biggest tool that I use is actually Google Earth believe it or not Google Earth is such a tool for you guys to find these fishing spots whether it's runoffs tail outs or big pools before having to walk kilometers especially on the Bow River. When you're on the Bow you might find a sweet tail out or a corner and you fish that for a bit but after a while maybe it's not so productive and you want to move on to the next. But because it's such a large river sometimes you end up walking kilometers and kilometers until you get to that next feature. So I like to do some research and go to a, go to a spot that has a lot of features to it as well as where I think I know fish might be. Alright so before we try to find a location to catch these fish we have to have a general idea on where these fish are going to be. So although the Bow River has a ton of fish in it they're typically around structure whether that's corners, tail outs, maybe there's logs, rocks, maybe there's a bank and so we're going to want to look for these structures and know what kind of structures are where on the river. So I have a couple illustrations I can pull up on the screen right now and kind of give you an idea on where these fish are going to be before we try to find a location. So I myself, before I go out, I try to find a stretch of river that has quite a few corners. Every time there's a corners, there's undercut banks, there's slow water, and there's fast water. They meet, there's a lot of foam, and sometimes there's tailouts, runoffs, and pools. And so what we're going to do, like this uh, illustration right here, you can see that fish are sometimes behind large rocks, they're in the rapids or the riffles, they're at the head of the pool, maybe behind a rock bar, under fallen trees, uh, or the tail up. So I'm looking for all these features that, although you can find them on the Bull River, maybe there's a rock structure that's sticking a couple meters off the bank, and you want to try to fish behind that where the fast water meets the slow water. A huge tip for you guys is remember this, foam is home. Anytime you see a foam line, that's typically where the fish are hanging out because that's where most of the bugs collect. Another big tip for you guys is the Bull River is huge. Stop trying to fish the middle of the river. It's hard to cast all the way out there. You don't get as drift as long. Just focus on the four, first four meters of the bank and all the features that come with that. All right, so enough of where we think the fish are going to be. Now we're going to use the maps to help locate these corners or these banks. And so. As you guys can see, Google Earth is a huge tool for me. It, you can zoom in so tight to the river that you can see the depth of the river as well. So if that doesn't help you find where to fish, I don't know what is. I know a lot of veterans won't be a fan of me pointing out where to find these fish on the Bow River, but I want to give you guys as much value. So we're going to pick a couple fishing spots that I know you can hook in the fish. All right, guys, so I'm using my local river, the Bow River, but you can use Google Earth for basically any water body you want. So any small stream, any large river, you really get zoomed in and you can really tell the features of under the water. So right below Glenmore Trail there, where there's a boat launch, uh, there's a lot of features and that's what I'm looking for. If you find islands, there's a lot of features around the islands and a lot of runouts and even the small little subsections of the bow will hold fish. So as I can see here, as I'm just scanning, I can tell the depth of the water. So just on the inside right there, there's going to be fish holding uh, between the fast water and the slow water. As well as down here, we see another runoff. Right here on the inside, there's going to be fish holding there. We can go continually down the river. So I don't want you guys to focus on these big middle sections of the bow. Although there might be holes in it, unless you're floating, it's going to be hard to get to. So focus on what you can get to from shore. So again, here's small little, here's a runoff. You're going to want to focus on the inside of that runoff right there. 
and we'll continue to go down the bow. So I'm just gonna continue to go down the river and scan it using 2D and 3D. I'm gonna look for the features and I'm gonna, I'm not just gonna look for these straightaways. Straightaways are hard to fish and they're definitely harder to get into the middle of the river. So I'm more focused on when uh, it, it cuts off into a little smaller side channel of the river or there's a corner or there's some sort of feature or blockage of the river and this is where I'm gonna try to go. All right guys, so as I promised, I'll give you a couple locations that I know there's fish. Um, everyone knows Cranston, you can get to Cranston and there's a bunch of walking paths. You will have to walk down the hill here. Sorry, not Cranston, I meant Mackenzie. But this island is full of features. So I've fished this many times and caught a lot of fish. So even in this small channel on the right here, uh, it starts getting shallow up here. So I'd fish all the way up here, as well as this big, uh, this big corner, this big dog leg, I would fish the inside of it where, where the fast water meets the slow water. Uh, and basically on the underside of the river as well, there's more tail outs, there's more fast water meets slow water, there's changes in depth, and that's where I would want to fish. You can continue to go down the river because there are some deeper banks, uh, and you can fish that. After that, it gets long and straight, and I wouldn't bother fishing it anymore. I would continue to zoom out and keep looking on the map on where to go. All right, so same sort of thing in Cranston. There's a lot of walking paths, as you can see, follow down to this island. Once again, overhung tree right here, some big fish underneath. I'd fish the inside of this. Uh, if you can cross up here, I'd fish the inside of that. Fast water meets slow water, as well as down below. It gets really shallow, and then it dumps into a big hole right here. So, a couple spots to look for. So even more south than Cranston in that area with the island, you can continue to go down and it's just up from basically Deerfoot Overpass Bridge over the bow in the south. So just up, there's a bunch of islands. There's people fishing there all the time. So either side, north or south, um, I can show you right, right along here. There's houses already built, so you can walk right to the river. I know there's a big channel right here. So when the water's low, you're able to stand on this little island and fish this big deep channel. There's a bunch of fish holding and closer to the top where it goes shallow to deep is where the hungry fish are. So even below that, if you can get to these islands or on the other side, you're fishing basically where it goes really shallow, where all the bumps are, where all the riffles are into the deep holding pools. So that's another spot. You can get to it on either side. Just find uh, a parking spot for yourself. I'm not going to go any further down the river. You guys now have the tools. Use Google Earth, zoom in, find the features, you know where the fish are holding, and find out where you can park and walk to that area. This is what I have done since the beginning. So I didn't have anyone to show me these holes. I had to just follow Google and zoom in and try to find the features in the corners where these fish are holding. Um, this is a huge tool. Anyone can use it and it's better than walking for 10 kilometers along the river trying to find that next hole. We got satellites in the air. Why not use them, right? I hope you got value from the video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully look for another video soon. Thanks.